Hi, I'm City Manager Scott Neal, and you're watching On the Job, a show where we highlight the city employees that keep Edina going and show you some things that can only be learned on the job. All right, we're in the Edina Fire Department here today, Station One. We're going to learn what it takes to be a firefighter. And I want to introduce you to Sean White. Morning, sir. Sean, good morning. Sean's a lieutenant with Edina Fire. Uh, Sean, tell us a little bit about yourself. How long have you worked for the city? Sure. Uh, I've been with the city of Edina for about 10 years. First seven of those years, worked as a paramedic firefighter. And then with, for the last three, I've been uh, operating as a lieutenant. So what does a lieutenant do that's, that's kind of over and above what other uh, firefighters do? Our primary focus and what we're really going to be talking about today is operation of the vehicle, the, the engines and the, the ladder trucks. Uh, we're responsible for driving uh, safely two fires, uh, an emergency response, as well as the operation of the pumps, uh, flowing water, making sure all the equipment is uh, prepared and ready. Okay, so you're gonna teach me how to run one of these babies today, right? Yes, sir. Okay, and do you think I'm capable of learning how to do this? I think with my expert tutelage, you're more than, more than able to. All right, let's give it a try. Yes, sir. So I think this is a great place to stop and we'll start talking a little bit about uh, actually getting the truck to function the way we need it to on a fire ground. Okay. So that all starts up here. Okay. We know we're good. We have our parking brake set. Our pump is engaged. Okay. We're ready to exit the cab and, and go operate the pump. All right. And this is our pump control panel and how we operate. The, the pressures as well as where all the water flows to and uh, how that all operates. So very first thing that we need to worry about is we have a big tank on this truck. What that allows us to do is about 700 gallons and it allows us to uh, put water on a fire, fill hoses uh, without having to hook to a hydrant first. So that's what we're gonna train on today and focus on. Okay. So we wanna open our water tank to pump, okay. which basically allows water to flow from the onboard tank into the pump to allow us to circulate that. Okay. So I'll have you, it's just a straight pull out and all the way towards you. There we go. So now we know we have our pump discharge. We know we have water going to the pump and we're okay. starting to develop a little bit of pressure. That is the down and dirty. That's a cup of hose. We gotta get a hydrant going too, right? Yes. All right. We'll, we'll wait now, we'll do that once we get set up. So I think now I'm gonna go ahead and get this prepared, shut down, and then we'll jump back in the truck. And now it's your turn to take the truck for a drive. All right. All right, I can do it. Since I normally sit over there, I'm going to sit here so I'm nice and close and make sure you don't break anything. No, I won't. But this is normally where the boss man sits. So okay. what we're doing today is we're simulating pulling up to a two-story, single-family house fire. So we want to make sure we pull that truck up so that we're actually just a little bit past okay. where that door is so that when we pull the hose off, it's set up to go straight into where we need to fight the fire. So I gotta be away from the building a little we bit. We wanna be away from the building. So we're actually gonna come around and you'll see a curb on the far side and you almost wanna start hugging that curb Got it. to okay. give uh, plenty of room for operations okay. and hose pulling and whatnot. All right. All so right. Remember, first thing we'll do is- Put on the brake. Put on the brake. Got it. Go ahead and release the emergency or the parking brake. Push cool. straight in towards the dash. Okay. And then D for drive and you're operational. So now we got standard gas, standard brake, nice and easy. We'll even give you some, some fancy lights here. Biggest thing to remember when we're driving big trucks like this, the wheelbase is a little bit longer, so we have to keep that in mind when we're turning it. 
and they're pretty heavy. This weighs about 50,000 pounds. So braking is always a little bit, uh, might be a little bit longer than in a normal vehicle. There's a fire. And we do, we have a working fire here. So we're gonna keep pulling up here a little bit. Did we get one green light? Yeah. Okay, once we have one green light, we hit drive. Wait for our second green light. Got it. All right, now we're ready to dismount. Mm -hmm. Well, make sure we're getting water into that pump. Okay, so we pull the water Absolutely. tank to pump. Yeah, perfect. All uh, right. Confirming that we got water going into the pump. It's yep. circulating. We need to figure out where we're gonna yes, prime. Sir. prime it. Outstanding, That's we good. got a good prime there. Water's, water's moving. We gotta figure out where those firefighters want their water. Okay, so let's figure out which hose line they pulled off. Ah, uh, orange. Yes, sir. Yellow? So, yellow. Orange? Whichever yellow. color that is. <laughs> Luckily, there's no choice. This guy. This one. Pull? Yep. They have, they have oh. the hose line pulled all the way off, so we can start feeding water in there. Yes, it sir. It says foam. Go ahead and pull it, pull it all the way open. So right now, all we have pushing them is hydrant pressure. Okay. So as we talked about before, we're going to want to make sure we get this up to 125 PSI. So we start dialing it up. Watching both this number, the pump gauge up there, as well as this, to make sure that we're getting to the right. There we go. All right, we're flowing water. The firefighters are entering the building. We did everything that we need to do to get this thing started. And they've got water because we can see the hose. We can hose see the hose full. is fully charged. Another piece, we make sure that this thing is flaked out appropriately. No, no kinks in it. If they need any help pushing hose into the building, because they've all now entered and they're fighting the fire, they need help, we can start pushing it in. But we also need to start thinking about making sure we have enough water. Okay, because they've only got, you've only got 700 gallons. 700 gallons How on long here? does it take them to go through 700 gallons? It's right about there. 100, this, this uh, hose with nozzle will flow about 175 gallons a minute. So depending on the size okay. of the fire, you have about three minutes, okay. give or take, All right. uh, before you start running out of tank water. That's when we need to worry about hooking to a hydrant, which we happen to yeah, have yeah. one right okay. here, which All is right. outstanding. So Scott, since it's obvious that you mastered operating this pump already, yeah, we have right. a little bit yep. of a challenge for okay. you. Okay. What we have mounted on the top of these trucks is a, a deck gun, and this one happens to be uh, fully motorized with a remote control. <laughs> so I thought it'd be a nice little treat for us to try out. All right, so what I don't have, have to crawl up. I don't have to crawl up there. You, luckily, no. Okay. You get to use it. It's almost like playing a video game. All right. We have a nice window way up top there, okay? So we're going to pretend that we're going sh showing up on a, uh, a high-rise fire. Sure. That we need to get water into that window as quickly as we can. So oh, we're, we're going to try to hit it from here. Oh yeah! Oh, all right. <laughs> this is our remote piece. So we turn that on, make sure we have a good green light. So I'm going to get you generally in the right area, and then from there you have to operate. As soon as I open this, it's going to start flowing water, and you're going to have total control of what's going on. All right. All right. You can also control the amount in the distance. So when we go fog and straight, that's going to affect what the, the actual, a natural, a natural, look at that. All right. That should wrap us up for today. <laughs> it looks like you did a pretty good job. Well, listen, Sean, I appreciate this very much. Yes, sir. Uh, I've, I think I said earlier, I've been a city manager for 29 years. I've never driven a fire truck. And, uh, it's not a toy, I know that, yes, and sir. so I want to be serious about this. Uh, we really appreciate what you and, and all of your colleagues in the fire department do for our city. Uh, you bring safety, you bring security, you bring peace of mind to our residents, and uh, we appreciate that very much. Thank so, you, sir. Thanks for helping appreciate today. It. Thank we you. appreciate it very time. much. You did a great job. Thank you. You've been watching On the Job, a show where we highlight the city employees that keep Edina going and show you some things that can only be learned on the job.
I think with my expert tutelage, you will be absolutely prepared. All right. Well, let's 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 take a look at this and show Excellent. it. See, see. Uh, so you, 